News this lunchtime, a historic milestone has been achieved. The first black woman-owned mutual bank in South Africa has been approved. Young Women in Business Network founder Ntabeleng Dikotsi is geared to be the first woman to own a mutual bank in South Africa. Dikotsi says it took her and her team more than four years. Dikotsi is joining us now via Skype uh, this lunchtime. Congratulations, I guess, are in order. And uh, reading your statement earlier, I think you've been on this road for much longer than four years. In fact, you were registered in 20, way back in 2015. Yes, good afternoon to your viewers. Sure, we've been at it for way longer than four years. Now, this has happened. It happened at the beginning of March. You must be delighted with the approval by the Prudential Authority. And as we celebrate International Women's Month, so this was a great gift to us as women, not just in South Africa, but globally. Uh, sure, we can't even explain the feeling, you know, right now is the past four or five years it felt like every day it was a struggle every day we were fighting every day it was like so what do we have today who do we have to convince today but since we received our license or approval on the 9th of march you know we wake up and say okay <laughs> so now we need to establish this bank uh, so the good thing about us and where we are, because the South African Reserve Bank has given us 12 months to set up the bank, is that in the past four years along the journey, we already met different service providers. So it's just a matter of just going back and plugging in instead of starting from scratch, you know. So that's a great uh, part on our side. Yeah, from what I've read uh, 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 in Tabeling, it's a cooperative financial institution, and, uh, and you've got now that, that CFI license approval from, from the reserve banks, that's the Prudential Authority. So what are you yeah. going to do next now? And what is this that you're going to be setting up? Share this with our viewers. Okay, so in 2015, we received the Cooperative Financial Institution, which is the CFI license for deposit taking and for loans. And then from that, we had to then apply to graduate to a mutual bank. So the license that we got approved on now is the approval to is authorization to establish a mutual bank, right? So we are now preparing to put or set up a mutual bank. What needs to happen is that part of the of our proposition to the Reserve Bank was that we want this bank to be majority uh, black owned and particularly black women owned. So when we say majority is that we went in as already black majority women owned but we are going to offer it to the public to join the CFI, to join the network, so that they can then have, we can have more people. And when I say more people, we're talking about thousands. We want millions of South Africans to be part of the bank. Uh, so that's the next thing that we're going to do, alongside obviously are putting you, together systems in place. Are you going to be targeting the 10 or 11 million odd unbanked South Africans? I'm going to be targeting, so when we, let me explain what the unbanked and underserved are. So the unbanked people, there are people out there who have never opened a bank account before. They don't see a need or they are maybe intimidated by the financial institutions. Then we have underserved people. Underserved people is people like you and me that feel that we already have bank accounts, but the current banks are not really getting us or they don't have products that talk to us. That's the unserved uh, market. So we are going for both the unbanked, which will be new in the market, and the unserved market that say, I've been using these banks for so long, but they're not doing anything for me. I just feel robbed that these banks are just making money out of me. So those kind of people that are feeling like they need their money to work for them, which will be the underserved. Those are the market. That's the market that we're going after. So we're going after everybody. Yeah, we are positioning you on our strap there, the bottom of the screen, as the first woman to own a mutual bank. Are you alone in this venture? Who else has been with you on this journey? Definitely not alone. I started Young Women in Business Network in 2009, and it's a network because it's a combination of professionals and business people. We have people that have I've been working on that spearheaded this is Poshia Pindilo Kumalo, Kamuhelo Masinamela, Osinsi Kisulu. We have consultants that we have worked with, brand new harvest, still waters, TGR attorneys. We have 
YWBN CFI shareholders that are over 550. In actual fact, the 550 plus YWBN CFI shareholders are the ones that made this a possibility because in order for us to register as a mutual bank, we needed 10 million as a capital requirement by the Reserve Bank. Obviously, Tableng is not the only one. So we the 10,000 rents that we paid for share capital and the savings of 1,100 for a period of five years, those are the people that made this dream a reality. Yeah, so so it's a group of women who have become the first to own this uh, mutual bank. You've got 12 months, according to the license that you've been given, to get going, as you said. What are the next steps? Yeah. What are you going to be doing in the immediate future to get that ball rolling now, having been on this journey for six years or more? So we also, it's not just women, right? So we're just saying majority women. We also have men that have also assisted us uh, in putting this together. The immediate thing that we're going to be doing on the 1st of June 2021, we'll be opening up to South Africans to join the network so that they can uh, buy shares in the mutual bank. Right now, we are putting in place all the systems to be ready for the 1st of June. And the significance of the 1st of June is that it's the youth month, right? So as we celebrate the young women that have made this bank a possibility, is that the 1st of June we'll be celebrating a uh, youth month or commemorating youth month. So that's the first thing that we'll be doing. So everybody must start saving and be prepared for the 1st of June to own shares and finally be bank owners and bank where they own shares. Do you know the name yet or is it too early? <laughs> <laughs> So too early for the name. A lot of things are going to change along the way in the 12 months. So for now, let's get let's get the let's get the people buying into the shares. I mean, into the bank. I mean, people are saying congratulations, guys. We're so proud of you. But you know what will make us proud? When South Africans bank on us, when they actually put their money where everything is. If your mouth is if your action is just saying congratulations, but you don't buy shares, you are not doing anything to us. For us, is we are begging everybody to be a part of this bank. I look forward to you raising innovation and competition in this financial sector. You are going sector. to buy shares, right? It's about you are going to buy shares. Are you right? putting me on the spot here in Tabernacle? Yes. Bank? Okay, yes. fine. Okay, fine. I will consider it positively. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. I've never, been, okay. I've never been put on the spot from this side of the camera. Thank you okay. very much. Thank you, Ntabe Lengdi Kotsi. That kind of energy is what we need. I'm going to have to buy uh, those shares there somehow. Eh? I have to raise money. Hopefully, my producer, Peter, will help me. Okay.